parents struggled to find age-appropriate toys for zero to three months old babies. There were many times where I got bored and frustrated with those toys. Yeah, you heard that right. It was me who got bored with my baby's toys. Let's face it, newborn babies don't really move or pick up anything, so they can't really play anything. At the end of the day, it's us adults who are playing those toys to entertain them. That's why I got bored with the toys because there wasn't much variety at all. Sometimes it's easy to get ahead of ourselves to buy older babies toys for younger babies that doesn't really serve the purpose i've done that many many times i've got older children's toys for my younger nieces and nephews thinking that they will progress quicker they will grow quicker to learn all of those things or their development will be so much more quicker when they use older kids toys but at the end of the day we ended up putting it away in the attic because they couldn't use it at all for such a long time they didn't really uh, get the concept of the toys or they just couldn't comprehend with that you know because if it's much older than their age they're not going to have um, the mental capacity to actually pick that up so I was really bent on not buying older kids toys for my newborn baby at all and I did a lot of research and I bought a few toys and I wanted to share all of those things with you because I found all of these toys to be very helpful and it was definitely age appropriate and I saw the progression in Levi as and when he was using all of these toys. First one is this baby play gym. I'll show you a better picture with some of the um, other pictures and videos that I've taken of Levi when he was using it between zero to three months. I just picked it up because it was next to me on the floor. We've had this play gym, we've used this play gym every single day since the day he was born. He loves it. He loves the piano in it. He loves all of these hanging things in it. He picks it up. He likes the color. He likes the mat. He likes everything in that gym and this is one of the best play gym for a baby. It's like a play mat, play gym sort of a thing. Um, it's just got a lot of things for their sensory and it is age appropriate and it grows with them. It's not only zero to three months, they can use it for much longer. Levi is now five months and he still uses it every single day. The quality is really good. The colors are really good. They have a lot of variety with this play gym online. Um, they have like pastel colors, they have muted colors, black and white, bright colored ones. Babies love bright colors. They actually need bright colors to help them when they're growing and developing. So I picked this one and I have no regrets with this at all. This is a Fisher Price one, I think. All of my toys are from Amazon, by the way. So I will leave a link to all of those things in the description box below if I can find it. So that was the first one. And the rest of the toys are all in here, in this basket here. I got this basket from Home Sense for £10. The only reason why I got this is because it says born in 2021 and I really wanted that. This basket goes in that TV cabinet behind me so we always keep that there and it's full of Levi's toys, the ones that we use. I wanted things to go in one place so it's easier to find it and pick it up and I didn't want it lying around the entire house at all. So let me go through all of these things and I'll show you in random order, okay? The first one is this butterfly. This is like infamously famous for newborn babies. It does a lot of things and everything for them. Uh, the first two weeks, I think Levi was just staring, not touching, not having anything to do with it, but he actually loves it. He likes touching. Uh, it's very good for their sensory for touch because it has different textures or sound. This one makes a noise. There is a mirror over here. You can flap open. This one has a pocket over here. This is a teether toy that can go in the pocket. So in the long run, it'll help them to take it in and out. Um, what else? All of these things are just different textures and this one is for teething, for holding, for their fine motor sensor, I think. Fine and gross motor sensor. A lot of things. It's bright and cheerful and everything. So he loves this. This one is highly recommended for newborn babies. The next one is a rattle. Again, bright colors, makes a lot of noise. That's what babies like. They like anything bright. They like anything noisy, especially when they move and they shake. That's the only way to get their attention. And it's very good for teething and biting because it has all of these uh, different textures all over. The next one, oh, this one is one of Levi's favorite. 
It came in a set of four. So you've got a pineapple, you've got a strawberry, ice cream, and grape. Some of it is probably dirty because Levi is always chewing on it. He loves this. The best one out of all of these things is the grape. This is his absolute favorite. He liked it so much in his first three months and he loves it even more now when he's teething. He's always chewing on this. On the days when I know his gums are bothering him, I give him these things and he's always biting on it and chewing on it. You cannot separate him from this at all. It's so easy for him to grip. So he has his tiny uh, fingers around this and then it goes straight to his mouth. The next one are these links. There were quite a lot. I've put a few away inside and I've only kept a few. This one again is very good for babies for sensory because it's got different textures on each one of these things. And as and when they grow older, it helps them with linking things together. You can make big change, you can make short ones like this. It helps with their creativity and development when they're older. You can put the colors together, you can mix and match the colors. There's so many things that you can do with it. I heard about this from one of those online sensory classes that I attended and they suggested and they recommended that this was very good. And the next one is a rainmaker. There are two types of... Okay, I can talk now. There are two types of rainmakers online when you search. This is a shorter one and there's a longer one also. I'm glad I got the shorter one. This really, really helped him with his tummy time. It caught his attention when you are shaking it about. Because it's very noisy and it's very colourful, it gets his attention to help him look up. It distracts him from the position that he's in and it really helped him at that time to do his tummy time. And now he rolls over to catch hold of this. So this again is a long-term toy that you could use for zero to three months and even after that also. The next ones are finger puppets. There's quite a lot of design in this, okay? This again is something that I learned from the sensory classes. Look at that. I'll try and show you a few of it. This is something that you can show your babies to get their attention and to help them focus. So all you need to do is, like this ducky for example, let me show you what I would do with it. Put it in your finger, like so. And then all you need to do is point it in front of the baby and then move from left to right slowly. Not all the way left to right like that. Just right in front of their eye so that they are able to follow you as you are moving this. Just from here to here without moving their entire head. So you're just training their eye and you're training their eye muscle to move from one side to another. And that helps them focus, that helps their eye development and the muscles are on the eye. There's quite a lot in here. There's a bunny, that's a frog, that's a cow. Levi likes the pig the most. The nose is a bit questionable, but he likes that the most. And he loves the duck as well. Sometimes what I would do with these are, I would put it on my finger and I will tell him stories. So I create my own stories basically. And then I talk to him. I tell him stories with these things. I use different characters and make up my own stories and he enjoys listening to it and he enjoys looking at all of these things move. These are all sensory balls that I got for him. Now I was under the impression that he will be able to pick it up and play with it. That's what it was advertised for but he has not picked any of it up between zero to three months. So what I did was I used it to kind of entertain him for color. You need to use solid colors for newborn babies so that they can look and they can focus. Again, same idea as the hand puppets, as the finger puppets that I used. I would hold it up in front of him and let him look at it and then move from place to place so that he can kind of focus his eye and he can look at a solid color. It's got different textures on each one of those. Now at four months, five months, he holds all of these things and he plays with it so he can feel all of those textures. When your babies are younger, you can also use this and rub it against their skin or rub it against their fingers so they can have a feel of different textures. And these ones can go in the bath also. 
Levi is not ready for all of these toys in the bath yet or probably mommy is not ready to add on toys to his bath yet so yeah I've not used it in his bath but you could use it in the bath if you wanted to but you just have to be careful these ones have the holes to go in so if you put it in your bath the water will stay inside so you have to make sure that you dry everything up properly it's got holes because it allows you to press that in like that so that's why they need to have that um, air bubble sort of a thing each one of those have that so be careful if you want to use this in your bath and the last one is this oval Levi loves this opal. This is his most favorite toy and this is probably my most favorite toy for him. And this is the last one that I got for him within zero to three months. I probably bought it around about at the end of his second month or so. Um, I noticed that his hands were always, his fingers were always rolled up in a fist like that, which is very normal for newborn babies. They don't really open up until towards the end of their newborn stage, sometimes maybe even after four months or so. So in this baby sensory class that I attended online that, you know, taught you about baby sensory and how to play with babies and everything, they explained about this opal and they said that this is very good for babies to open their fingers up and it helps them grip with both hands, which is exactly what I wanted because most of the things that I gave him or most of the things that I noticed he was using only with one hand and sometimes he would touch it or sometimes he would just use his knuckles to kind of feel it he wouldn't open his fingers but ever since I gave him this he easily picked it up with both hands that's the purpose of this so that they can pick it up in one hand and pass it on to the other hand so he picked it up with one hand and opened up the other fingers to pick it up and this is how he would always always hold it I've got a few pictures so I'll show you those things um, the one thing he does is that it goes straight to his mouth he tries to bite it and tries to lick it or put it in his mouth obviously it doesn't fit in his mouth so in the end what he does is he licks it he has that pressed against his lips and he's licking it but he loves it every time he catches hold of this he will not let it go and he still loves it now he's rolling about easily He'll roll around just to pick this up and yeah, catch hold of this and play with it. That's it. He finds it really, really entertaining for some reason and he can play with this for a good 10 minutes. If I don't give him anything else, he'll be glued to this. And this is the last one that I want to show you. I didn't put it in this basket because it is much bigger for the basket. I got this for his tummy time. We used it right from day one. However, Levi was a little bit petty, so it was a bit small for him at that time. But from second month onwards, he started using this for his tummy time. Even if he didn't use it for tummy time, I just put this next to him and he loved staring at it. Um, all of its texture, all of its design, its shape and the colors and everything. There's a mirror here and you have all of these designs here. And you've got these things for teething. It has color. What's this? This is for teething also. Um, there's like a Noah's Ark thing and a lion here. He catches all of these things. He plays with this. This is a very, very good toy, if you like, for zero to three months for newborn babies. And it's a long term thing. He still uses it to play with it. So that's a win. And those are all the toys that I've got for Levi for zero to three months. Newborns don't really need many toys at all. Um, you don't have so much opportunities to, to use toys for them. So these are the only things that you need for their development, for their sensory and everything. But other than that, it's not toys as such, but books. See this library, the books behind here? I set up this library for Levi so that I could use all of these books for him. Uh, to read to him, to entertain him. That's all we need to do during the awake window to entertain them. If you can't use toys, you use books. They love to listen. They like to look at our facial expression. They like to listen to our voice and they just like to listen to words and us talking and communicating with them. That's how they learn their vocabulary and that's how they learn to improve on their own body language and everything also. Here are some of the books that Levi really, really liked from zero to three months. This is his absolute favorite. So you can show this to them. Um, it's very colorful and you can use that for their own vocabulary, building their words um, and all of those things. So each one is something, it explains something. This one's 
uh, sea animals and then you've got alphabets here yeah. and it's also very good because every time you turn a page it makes this crinkly sound this sound is very good for baby's development and you can use this in the bath and you can throw it in the washing machine it works because I put it in the washing machine and I put it in the bath also it dries right up and yeah I've not used it in this bath per se I just tested it out in the washing machine and the bath and it worked uh, yeah and he loves all of these things it comes in a whole set of nine or ten books or something it's from Amazon again these ones are really good and these kind of flip books are very good also there's quite a lot you don't need to buy this I made the mistake of buying it but I'm just showing it to you because it's really good you could actually borrow it from your local library because they have all of these things these kind of books are not very long term after maybe a year maximum you're gonna have to get rid of it you can't keep all of these books for long term at all so flip the page this is how it looks like you have some words that you can read to them you have some uh, you know characters and everything that you can explain and then you flip the page to show them what it is every page is different and then every page has something that you can flip and show it kind of catches their interest maybe not at zero months maybe not at one month but two months three months onwards yeah they're interested now at about four months onwards Levi has started flipping the pages himself he knows what to expect it's like um, why is it flip? Oh, it's over here. He knows that there is something there that he can flip and something is coming. So he's looking forward to all of those things to flip that and he loves that. All of these toys that I showed you are safe for baby. They're all BPA free. Uh, you know, they're obviously safe for licking and chewing and biting and all of those things. A lot of these toys are for long term use. It's not only zero to three months. In fact, all of the toys that I showed you today are long term use. So it's actually worth your money when you buy something early on and you know you can use it for longer. They don't get bored with these kind of things. Certain things they are developing and as they're developing, they see an entirely different style. For example, this baby gym, let me just quickly show you. See um, this arch here. He never used to notice these colors before, but now at about four months, five months, he notices this color. He's not only looking at all of these things and trying to catch, he's already caught it, so he's over that now. And he's looking at all of these other colors and different textures on that play mat. So that's what you would need to think about when you're looking for newborn babies, you know, whether it's useful for them and, you know, how it's good for them for development. I'm very strict about not using anything other than toys to play with him. I don't offer any other household items. I know a lot of people offer like, you know, kitchen things and they say, oh, my children only loves, you know, household items and kitchen utensils. They don't play with their only toys. I really hope Levi doesn't do that when he grows older because I'm going to keep it to this as much as I possibly can. It's only toys for playing and not household item at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Speaking about a new video, next week I'm going to be talking about how I sleep train Levi. If you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and I will see you again next week. Bye!